What's up guys, it's Mr. Ginger Cool and today I'll be showing you how to make a fireball in After Effects CS5. It, as you can see, it's kind of the 3D thing. So we're going to start off with a white solid and we're going to get the pen tool, the eclipse, and we're going to make a circle shape for the fireball. It's a template of it. And then we're going to go to Effects, Noise and Grain, Turbulent Noise which is like the materials inside the um, shape and I, I, as you can see there's like loads of materials you can place inside the circle but I think in the end I choose subscale and linear as you can see now So there we go, and then we get the magma effect, and we just just drag it onto our base layer. And as you can see, it's kind of the fiery effect. And there's loads of fractal noise, the the tritone, and the levels channel that you can move up and down to for your liking of the fireball. Um, and like I, I, right now, I'm just like mucking around with the the amount of things on it, then the color and you can do that too and the evolution of it is the way it moves and so we're going to keyframe the evolution and from the start we're going to make it zero and like the end as it goes along so we've got to invert it first then we're going to put the evolution at start for zero and then at the end it should like probably for the timeline get to one to about halfway Mine's gonna be five seconds, so I bring my base footage. I decrease the size of my base footage, as you can see there, and I just bring it. So the timeline capsule where it's where it's where it's right now, I bring it down to there for my five second mark, and it will move over. The, it will move over that period of time. So there we go, there is the start of our fireball. Next we're going to go to effects, blur, yeah I think it's blur and sharpen, CC radial blur, and just look, there's the amount of it and the quality in the center. So we're going to put it onto centered zoom, then we're going to get the center tool and place it right in, right in the middle of the circle, right in the middle of the circle press it there and like you can the amount of it I would say about 50 to 60 over a hundred or higher than 60 is just totally off the mark as you can see there looks like a just a blur which we don't want so 59 is about what we want and you can muck around with the quality of it for your liking but we're not going to keyframe it so in a minute I think I just take it off the keyframes for the mountain center and the quality because we really don't need that Unless you wanted to move over a period of time, which is no big deal because you don't need that. So it's rendering at the moment as it goes through. Loading, load, load, load. So there, I just unkeyframed the qual all that bit, the the amount, the quality in the center. Now these are the things where you can get the flames for. There's some good sub substitutes on YouTube and um, footage crate and yeah, like all the burning materials, sparks, all stuff like that. And then we've got Detonation Films, has loads of VFX. You can buy essential packs from there and everything. Really good, but you have to buy some of them too. Back into it. I'll leave the link, I'll leave the link for all those websites in the description below and leave a PSD file if you want to download it. So here's my flame, I got mine off YouTube. Very good flame, it kind of because it kind of has a circle template already in it. So then I bring the white solid down because if it's in the mid if it's in the top near the middle, the flames of it will go through to the composition which we don't want that or else it doesn't look very realistic. So I bring them both to screen mode so we can see the the white solid layer. Or there we go. And then you can increase and decrease the size of the flames to fit the size of the ball. So just press command on both of them, move them about. Like it commands both of them to do it. 
So I bring the white soil down so you can see the flame, it doesn't go out of the composition. Oops, I had to undo that. There we go, and I bring it down, command, hit both of them, bring them down, and I increase the size of it to fit the ball. So it's kind of look like hair, so it fits the head of the ball. So I'm still increasing the size of it to fit the fireball. I think that's it done now. And there, there's our fireball, or our awesome fireball. Fireball that kills people. Okay, it's just loading at the moment, but you saw it at the start, so that's our fireball done. You can use it in your VFX videos. Before it finishes, rate, comment, and subscribe.